Hello, 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 everybody. There we go. Game's up now. Um, welcome uh, to the first day of what I have dubbed Nano Streamo. So it's kind of like Nano Remo with the writing, but for me, it's just try and stream every day. Just a little bit. Like today, we're probably only going to go about maybe an hour, hour and a half. You know, but just do a little bit every single day. Now, to go along with that plan, we also have a little uh, change here with... Uh, put the game capture all the way down here. There we go. Now you can see, we have a little follower goal up at the top, too. Just fun thing trying to shoot for and try and get a few more followers around here. And so that's one of the things we're going to be doing during Nano who works Streamo. And, as a special treat for Nano Streamo, we'll be looking back at what is probably my favorite uh, video game franchise of all time. The Final Fantasy series. Uh, because, honestly, a lot of these games I haven't played. Some of them I haven't finished. And some of them I haven't played since... Uh, well, let's put this frankly. Before I knew what liking girls was. How's that for how young I was? Girls were still icky when I played some of these games. So. We're going to go through every single one of them. I have no idea how long it's going to take. Probably more than just November. Um, but I'm having going to have fun with them. I'm going to revisit all of them. I'm going to play through. I've got access to, I think, almost every single one of them. Except for a few of the side games. Uh, today we'll be starting with Final Fantasy 1. Uh, using the one that I originally played it on way back when in, uh, when I was in college. Uh, yeah, I actually played Final Fantasy 4 and 6 and 7 and 8 before I ever played the very first one, which was in college when Dawn of Souls here came out on uh, the Game Boy Advance. Um, so, we're going to crack into this and uh, <laughs> see what we can do. Have some fun with it. New game! Alright, uh... It's a warrior. His name shall be... Oh, I don't know. What should we do for names? Any ideas? Light. Light? He's a warrior of light, so... Yeah. So, light... Yeah, we're not using a thief. We're going with a monk. This is just the way we do things here. It's just warrior, monk, white mage, black mage. I don't use the red mage. I never use the thief. Because if you have a dedicated black mage, I don't like really using the thief too much. Because they're kind of weak early game. And then once they get become ninjas, they have black magic. And that's pretty much what they're good for. But I have a black mage. And red mages, I don't know, they just never clicked with me. I honestly never really got into red mages until Final Fantasy XIV, when now I play a red mage. Let's see, for the monk, his name will be... I like Punchy. Punchy seems to be a good name for him. How many characters do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, can't do heal bot. I suppose we could just shorten it. Heal bot. And for our black mage, we will name him. The ever auspicious Dr. Boom. I think that's a good. 
Begin the game with this party, yes. I'm actually kind of excited. This is kind of fun. The world lies shrouded in darkness. Darkness. The winds die. The seas rage. The earth decays. But the people believe in a prophecy, patiently awaiting its fulfillment. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. Well, I mean, there's only one warrior. After a long journey, four young travelers did at last appear. And in the hand of each was clutched a crystal. <gasps> no title screen. We just go right into the game. The king is searching for the prophesized warriors of light. The those crystals could it be? No, we're just hanging out. The prophecy doesn't say that. Oh, is everyone just gonna say that? I guess we need to just go talk to the king. Oh God! <laughs> yes, those crystals. They can be. I must see the king at once. Well, that's slightly different, at least. Welcome, travelers. I am told you carry the crystals. Is this true? Here. <laughs> it's just as Lucan's prophecy foretold. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. Who's Lucan? Your Majesty, we cannot be certain that these are the warriors foretold by the prophecy. He's gonna turn out to be the bad guy, isn't he? Chancellors tend to. Yet they stand before us with crystals. I can't deny it, it's a mere coincidence. People don't just show up holding rocks, you know. Crystal bearers, there is a task I would ask of you. Will you not rescue my daughter, Sar Sarah? Sarah? Garland, a knight once in his majesty- oh, this is translating- Garland, a knight once in the majesty's service, has abducted Princess Sarah. I ask for your aid. In the name of his majesty, the King of Cornelia. Garland has taken refuge in the Chaos Shrine, which lies to our north. Of course, we did attempt to save the princess ourselves, but Garland is the finest swordsman in the kingdom. We have none who can match him. I have heard that you wish to journey to the continent to our north. Oh. Well, thank you for telling me that that's what I want. I don't recall that. The bridge leading north was long, lost long ago, making passage impossible. So you've been stuck on this island. If you can rescue Sarah, I will have a bridge rebuilt as a sign of my gratitude. Go now, warriors of light, and do not fail me. I will have your asses if you do. do <laughs> Okay, I still talk to the Keen, and they're still just doing that. Okay. First and foremost. Equipment. What do I have? A knife and clothes. Staff and clothes. Knife and clothes. Do we have money? 500 gil.
Who are you? I am Jane, Queen of Corellia. Please bring me my daughter, my Sarah, back to me safely. Her Majesty's overcome with grief. She shut herself inside her chambers. Please try not to upset her. She hasn't shut herself. It's just the door. Open it. You just walk in. Who's this guy? Garland was once the greatest knight in the kingdom. Still is from what I hear. But power consumed him and he lost sight of who he really was. Keeps calling himself Batman. Please, please save Lady Sarah. Okay, that's not the way we need to go. We need to go this way. Is there anything of interest here? My s, -s sister I want my s, -s sister The City of Dreams. That's an inn that I don't need right now. Hi there. I'm a dancer. What's that? You want to dance with me? Hee hee. Yeah. You're not going to dance? Fine. Restore the crystals to Grace. Who's Grace? Yep. Uh, let's see. I'll take a chainmail for light, leather armor for punchy. Sword with a slender blade or a hammer? Give nunchucks to Punchy. A hammer for Peelbot. And I wish I could see the stats, because is the rapier going to be better than the hammer for. Oh, there it is. Attack is 9 and accuracy is 5. Or is attack is 9 and. Okay, yeah, so rapier then. So we're going to get this equipment set up. I think it's a hammer, regular clothes. they start with any magic? No, they start with no magic. They've only got level 1 magic. Let's see if we can go buy some magic. I am kind of glad the whole buying magic kind of thing went away. Buying your spells. I mean, I get where they came from with it. Who are you? I once lived far to the east of here in the harbor city of Provoca. These days I hear it's turned into a pirate's den. Fun. Please rescue Lady Sarah. Oh yeah, that's right, you have to resurrect at the church. Here's the magic shops. Oh please, you must rescue the princess. 
Sage Lucon said something about finding the Crescent Moon? Then he just up and left town. Alright, I've got 300 gil. Lowers evasion, lightning damage, fire damage. Give him focus instead of thunder. I don't really think I need thunder right this second. You could always use multiple elemental spells, but I just think early on this is like deals damage to all undead foes. That's not bad. Protect. Blink. Definitely need cure. Definitely going to take Protect. And we'll use Dia because, hey, having something against the undead is always nice. The king truly believes in Lucan's prophecy that the Warriors of Light will come and save the princess. That was actually the coolest thing I noticed, like, when I first played Final Fantasy XV, was they actually referenced the Lucan's prophecy at the beginning of the game. Yeah, they just let the bridge break, didn't they? <gasps> Goblins! I'm just gonna hold on to my magic right now. Oh, jeez! Punchy's kicking butt. Crap ambushes. I don't think anyone's that bad. I don't know, I always love these, like, classic enemy designs, like the goblins. Okay, so what's in the cave? The Earth Gift Shrine. This is the Earth Gift Shrine. Lang ago ye could enter, but we shut seen the land tade gray. Oh, okay, so this is. Oh, that's right. This is the uh, the uh, the the. Donna Souls added in like specific like bonus dungeons for, like, late game, post game. Uh, stuff to do, and. Each one requires you to, like, clear out one of the crystal shrines and defeat one of the fiends in order to access it. Did everyone get a level? Good. Here's the Chaos Shrine. Let's see how good Dia actually does. Chaos Shrine. I 
I can't even remember how many, like, actual... Treasures and, like, where all the treasures are in this. Suddenly I'm really glad I grabbed Dia when I was back in town. Making quick work of the zombies. I also... Yeah, I'm completely out of magic now. Uh, Let's see, hopefully we can find a few more treasure chests. This door's been bound by the mystic key. What mystic key? Ghoul. Not a zombie. Let's check the four corners here and see if there's... Maybe they're all locked with the Mystic Key. Yeah. No idea what the Mystic Key is or where I can find the Mystic Key. See if we can put these guys to sleep here and There we go. Whew. We might need to So when they gain a level in the first one, they don't really seem to get an increase of Oh no. Oh, uh, we might need to flee this one. So I think I think we just stepped into it div just stepped right into the deep end a little too much. Let's I am literally going to run all the way back to town now and repair myself. I think I screwed up. All right. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. Oh, I tried.
not my best first outing. On the plus side, I mean, what? I gained three levels. I think everyone's pretty solid on... Move, please. Excuse me. Excuse me! <laughs> Take one sleeping bag, just in case. Uh, some one antidote, because that's about all I can afford right now. Alright, at least now I have self to heal me. We're full up on HP and MP. Let's try this again. Well, they're smart. They're going straight for the clothies. open this. Let's try this. Well, this time we're not going to go exploring. We're not going to try and see all the things. I'm betting they're all going to be locked. I need to equip that cap I found. That would probably help some, too. Give it to the warrior, cause it's glove. Is that what that says? GLV. Back to the castle. There we go. And of course, still get a fight here. Hey, it's the spiders! They waited for us! Hello, Garland. The king will have no choice but to exchange the kingdom for his daughter's life. Cornelia will be mine! <laughs> oh no! Other people! Who's there? Humph. The king's lack dogs. Do you have any idea who you're messing with? I am Garland! I am named after a Christmas decoration! You really think you have what it takes to cross swords with me? Very well. I, Garland... We'll knock you all down. And now it's the final boss fight. Uh, let's see. Some protect on the clothies just in case. That looks good. That's a nice early set game set up here. Keep them attacking. Let's see, who's the lowest percentage-wise? He's down 12, he's down 14. Let's keep him topped off here. Oh, never mind. 
Oh, we did it. That was quick, but, you know, I appreciate it. And the bats are just kind of like, I don't know what's going on here. You've come to rescue me. I don't know if I can ever thank you. I am Sarah, Princess of Cornelia. We know. That's why we're here. That's the first time anyone's ever defeated Garland. You must allow me to show your gratitude. Please, accompany me to Castle Cornelia. Okay. Free lunch. Free lunch. Free lunch. Free lunch. Thank you for returning my daughter to my side. There can be no doubt that you are the warriors of light from Lucan's prophecy. You should hear the prophecy in its entirety, him, if I may. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. If they cannot gather the shards of light, the darkness will consume all. The four crystals will never shine again. Now, I hear that a crystal can be found on the continent to our north. Restoring light to the crystals is our only hope of ridding the world of the monsters which plague it. I will have the bridge to the north rebuilt as I promised. It will only take about five years. I pray that you succeed in restoring the light to the four crystals and to the world. Do, 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 do. Oh, what? Talk about a cutoff. We just the world. This loot has been entrusted to my, the princesses of Cornelia for many generations. When he abducted me, Garland took this loot as well. I want you to have it. It may aid you in your journey. You are now a princess of Cornelia. <laughs> you obtained the... Loot. Yay. But I'm gonna do Princess of Cornelia. It would have been nice if I could have, like... Eh, now that I think about it. Should I talk to the king and see if there's any other reward that he gives me? Like... Sarah's thoughts are always with you. Okay. The dancing girl in town knows many odd bits of information. If you stray from your path, try talking to her. She may know something that can put you back on your course. Is there something down here? Well, there is. Not much or anything. Thanks for saving Princess Sarah. I was hoping we got like a, a free trip to the armory or five years later. Order from his majesty, we're to do our part to fulfill Lucan's prophecy. The king has approved the infrastructure budget. I like how they, it's not like they didn't have the manpower or the resources to rebuild this thing. They just didn't want to. <laughs> what does a bridge have to do with a prophecy? Fantastic question, peon number four. The four warriors of light are here. They're here in Cornelia. We're not sure how they got to Cornelia since the bridge was broken. Uh, did we get healed? No! <laughs> the game doesn't heal you for nothing. Go spend more money and go back to the inn. Do, do, do. It 
it's interesting to see early on, like, what motifs, like, stuck around from these games. Of the early games in the series. And which didn't. Like, some of the, a lot of the musical stings... ...have been, like, are 100% still in the games to today. Um, some of the monster designs, some of the, the character ideas... But, like, how many games have Red Mages? I mean, I'm 14, but... I, none of the other ones I've played... I mean, it just kind of became kind of just a generic thing later on that anyone could use white and black magic if they had trained it. So I guess the Red Mage concept just kind of fell away from there, but... I don't know, does three or, or five have... Red mages? Oh, here we go. Yay! Prologue! Favorite song in the entire series. And so the quest began. As the four warriors of light, they felt overwhelmed by the great task destiny had placed before them. They did not even know that the true significance of the four crystals they held in their hands. The crystals that once long ago held a light that shone so brilliantly. The time for their journey had come. The time to cast off the veil of darkness and bring the world once more into light. Okay, so I know like the big thing that everyone knows is is the the crystal theme, the the song that plays at the beginning. But I don't know how many people actually know that that song, the one that plays over the bridge, which is often I hear a lot of people call it the bridge song or the prologue, that is actually considered the main theme of the Final Fantasy franchise. I mean, the actual name of the song is Final Fantasy. And it's kind of just gone by the wayside, and even in, like, the actual, like, games later on, it tends to get hidden inside the credits or something like that, but not the, uh, not actually get played too much in the game. It's always why I'm really happy when it shows up again. 12 used it to great effect, and, uh, four, uh 15 actually, uh, has a wonderful moment with it. Punch everything. Oh, jeez. Their damage, like, tripled. The wolves have over 50 da health. That's nuts. So apparently from going from the prologue... Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's cure Punchy, please. Um... But yeah, it's, it always kind of weirded me out that people didn't under... really seem to know, like, a lot of people. Like, I, I run into this a lot. That no one really seems to know that that's the main theme of the games. Compared to the crystal theme, which is the title screen theme. or And then, of course, a lot of the later games ended up with uh, their own individual entries, themes. Gigas Worm. Oh, no, don't flee. Uh, 
A lizard? It looks like a part bug. Jeez, Punchy, you're taking hard hits here. Yes, that's why we have a dedicated white mage who has the second most health in the party for some reason. There we go. Ah, Provoca. This is where there used to be a harbor town that is run by pirates. Please help us. Okay, can you be more specific? Please help us. No, we're not going to be more specific. Who are you? Those blasted pirates. They're running around looting and pillaging like they own the place. Question. Do they own the place? I mean, it's technically possible, right? Well, I want to go find the inn first, because... Everyone was getting their thwax. Here's the pirates. Is there not an inn? It's a bit of a price jump there. Pirates. There's the inn. Please come in, we charge 50 gil a night. What is with the inflation on the other side? I mean, that's why Cornelia never bothered building the bridge. As soon as you cross the, to the mainland, it's like... Everything costs double. Oh, it just kicked me right out to the front of the inn. <laughs> Alright, now that we've got that, let's gear up for the pirate fight. Oh, I think I'm probably going to go for maybe like another 20, 30 minutes. Probably after the pirate pirate fight. Get a shield. Get everyone some gloves. Jeez. I mean, that's better than what I got, but I know I don't have enough gill. I was hoping to see the stats for it. Fine. I'll at least take the scimitar. Would have liked one of those, but. Oh, these are all the level 2 spells. I don't think I even can learn level 2 spells yet, can I? Oh, no, I can. That's good. 
All right. First and foremost, let's save before I try and, uh... <laughs> Bicky? You got cannonballs of steel to be talking to the great pirate Bicky. Keel all them boys. Well, you only got them. We'll make sure that something. That's skipped. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's see. You fight, you fight. I guess you can fight this turn. I'm going to try and sleep all of you. Focus on taking out the one that didn't get sleeped. Nice. It's the one thing I learned from playing old school some old school D and D games is is never underestimate the power of like crowd control abilities. Everyone gained a level. I killed all your dudes. I be most sorry, young masters. I'll be making no more fuss. I swear, pinky promise. I want ye to take me ship for year trouble. <laughs> Can you find it in your heart to forgive an old pirate? The pirate, Bicky. You obtained a ship. I think we just... Ship jacked a guy. I've had myself a change of heart. I plan to buckle down and be the hardest worker in town. You believe me, don't ye? Because of you, we don't need to fear the pirates anymore. Thank you so much. That's right. We beat up the pirates. I don't think there's a ports to the north. A ship can only make landfall at a part port, you know. Okay, how much money did that give us? Oh, good amount. Dark temper and so what is temper? Raises one allies attacks. Okay. Do, 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 do. I was actually really surprised that the null types were actually this old. Like, I thought that was something that came up way later in, in the series, but... Uh, apparently, no. Like, the actual the null spells actually date back to the very first. Uh, let's see. Silence, Blinda, and Invis. Raises their evasion. None of these are... Great.
I mean, they're they're good. They're just not crucial. Let's go check out our boat. Yay! <gasps> okay, it's a bit weird having encounters on the water. I, I, I mean, it always seemed like that was like if you were in the transportation stuff. Uh in some sort of uh, vehicle or anything like that, you don't get attacked. But in this one you do, because... I don't know. Oh jeez, that Big Eyes is... Magic Cure... He's almost down to half. Find a port to go to. Shark! Oh, there's an interesting character name. 21 damage on the warrior, though, is still... I mean, that's a pretty brutal attack. I know I'm supposed to go to the elf village next, right? It's the one that went way down there. Can't go into there, right? Magic, cure the warrior. Let's try and CC these guys a little bit here. Okay, suddenly it's occurring to me why lightning was an option early on. And I might go back and get that instead of focus for the black mage. Yay! Elfheim! Home of elves! I just don't know what we could do. Please help our prince. Your prince, their princess. A hundred gil. This is because we're foreigners, isn't it? Ugh. Do you have good swords? Crozier. Crozier. A staff topped with an iron ring. Zero accuracy, though. Keep trying to keep up on all this stuff. 
We might need to spend a little time grinding. In order just to get the... Okay, so that's all the optimals. I mean, for the most part, we're just going to need to grind to get money to purchase stuff, because everything's just so expensive out here. Look at this. 800 for a copper armlet. sell some of this stuff. Oh yeah, four gil for that rapier. I get more for the clothes than I do for the dagger. There's That said, let's see if I can at least get Warrior outfitted a bit better now. Optimal. Optimal. Alright. I am a sage. When the time is right, the future is revealed to me. I shall wait patiently until then. That just sounds like... Waiting. You know, if I wait long enough, the future is revealed to me, too. Like, watch. <gasps> I see the future! Yes! I'm gonna move. See? Yeah, I just waited. Not that great of a sage. I am a sage. Is everyone in this town a sage? Oh. These are level 4 spells. Did I miss where you can buy the level 3 spells? Did I skip a stop? Isn't this where you go after you're done? Sup, dudes? Astos' curse has put a prince into a deep sleep from which he cannot awake. Please, will you not attempt to aid our slumbering prince? Oh, no, no. I'm not kissing your prince. I've seen how these things go. The Dark Elf King, Astos, stole into our castle and placed a curse on the prince. Then Astos carried away the castle's treasures. Cookies, huh? And monster. Also, your castle's kind of a maze. Oh, no, it's not that much of a maze. It's just you were blocking my path directly to where I needed to go. The prince has slept under Astos' curse for five years now. There must be some medicine that can rouse his the sleeping, but where? The prince. Tostitos. So there's a place to dock my boat right there, but I docked it way up here. Seems like damage in this game is either like 
a ton or one? There's like no middle ground. All right, so somewhere there's the level three magic. Also, since we're right here, can we go back and get... Hi, dancer girl. Have you met Matoya yet? Thanks for the hint. We haven't gone to see Master Matoya. Instead, we're going to go and pick up Thunder. I've learned all that I can. Are you... Magic. Ah, there we go. Discard. Discard focus. There. That should help with the water-based monsters. It's a well. It looks like you can climb inside, but you can't, really. Let's take a peek at your reflection in the water. Ugh! You're filthy! Wash up already! Do 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 All right, now that we're way up north here... Ogre! Nice! Level up. Let's get the ogre first. Ugh. These fights get worse and worse. I, I, it's, that's the one thing I do remember about this game. Is, is The early game especially is very... I've gotten lost more than once in this game. Just like trying to figure out where you need to go next has always been kind of a crazy jumping around and exploring type of thing. But I mean, that was kind of the style back in the day, really. Uh, you just kind of go and. Oh jeez, 105? Okay, there's nothing up here. This is just... Okay, let's see here. Magic.
protect Punchy because he is probably going to get hit a lot. At least Punchy's starting to come into his own. Seriously, early game monks, man. Should we take out this last Giga Squirm? Is there something down here? <gasps> There's a cave! their levels again but light is poison luckily we actually did pick up at least one antidote Mount Dwergar lally ho hey have you blathered with her smith smith is it the smithy he is That soon? Aye, that's Nerik. He's smishing racks back in the cave. When it comes to defense, a good armlet can be every bit as good as body armor. You should try out some time. <laughs> this is why fin writing phonetically doesn't always pay off. <laughs> yes, he's smishing racks in the back of the cave. There might be a ch <laughs> There mitched hay been some nitro powder in the castle treasure hoose way back when they sealed her up. Okay, well, we know we need to find the nitro powder then. I'm looking for some levistone. It's supposed to be an amazing material that actually floats in the air. Have you ever heard where some was? Lally ho! Ah! He lollied and glitched out the game! Oh, cool. I just robbed the dwarves. We have crystal eye even the blind can see. And I heard the dark elf Astos built one that belonging to Mama Toya. Ah, so it's all starting to connect now. Have you blithered? It's, uh, yes, you're Smith Smith. Yep, even the blind can see. I haven't seen your Smith Smith. I'm assuming this is your Smith Smith. Hi Smith, I hear you're a Smith. If only I could have some of the legendary metal adamantite. It would have been able to make a magical sword. You guys are giving me all the little objectives, aren't you? The earth has started to rot. It began in the west. A new display from the case spreads. Where's the guy in the back of the cave? Ack! There's a giant rock in me path! And I'm so close to opening up the canal too! If I had a wee bit of nitro powder! So what are you actually- what's your actual objective then? This door has been bound by the mystic key. So Mr. Key gets around a lot. Alright, we need to remember Mr. Key. It's the dwarves have a room for it, and the Chaos Shrine has one. I'm 
eventually try and find out the way out of the cave. We got about a thousand gold off of those guys, so... It's pretty nice. Eh, I probably should have had him heal, but it's always a chance that everyone would be dead before you even got to that point. There's my boat. The monsters kick their butts right now. Kicking their butts right now. Oh. I think that's Matoya's cave, isn't it? No, that was the Earth Shrine Cave that we just... Fighting the shark. Fighting the shark. We're going to Thunderbolt the shark. Okay, well, we have unsuccessfully tried to find a port where we can easily access Matoya's cave to proceed the story. Um, we'll take that up tomorrow. 